end of the month reading for October. I hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, see what's going on for you. I hope that Mercury Retrograde is treating you all well. Okay. Let's see what's going on in your energy, Aqua Pisces. This energy is what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. And it feels like one more, because they're kind of separated there. Yep, there it goes. It's like, yes. Knight of Pentacles coming out, getting this message coming through. It could be a slow moving message. Either it's coming to you or you are sending it out. Okay, let's clarify on that Knight of Pentacles and see what is going on. This clarifying card is not only going to clarify on the Knight of Pentacles, but the entire reading. It has a big job. Okay. This message is about passions ignited. So whatever's going on over here, it's going to ignite. You're, you like this. <laughs> Either you're telling somebody sweet nothings or th this message has come in and it's just like blown you off your feet. You're like, what? Right? That's like, whoa. Okay. This has got your passion just blown. Okay. <clears throat> Could be coming in from a Taurus. A Capricorn or a Virgo doesn't have to be either of the above. It's just a slow moving message. Okay, so getting into the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, near past, and the near future. Is this message, you guys, like, oh my gosh, it's got you all flaming, right? Oh my gosh, it was totally of harmony. It's like they sent me this message to just lit my heart up. Or maybe you sent it out. I have a feeling it came to you and you're just gloating over it. You're just like, oh my God. I really do feel like this message actually came to you and you just can't get it off your mind. Like, oh my gosh. Just see this message they wrote me. Holy, you know, holy moly fire. Started a fire in my heart. Okay. Maybe it was that message you've been waiting for for a long time. Oh my gosh. Whatever it is, it put you on a new destined path. In the near past, it was movement, choices, and decisions, and memories of love. Oh my gosh, this came from somebody from the past, didn't it? Is that why you were waiting for this message? Because it was like somebody you've always had an eye on, and they finally like got the hint? Okay, standing your ground or triumph. But we have six cards here, which is definitely harmony going on over here. It's like, wow, okay, the harmony is like blowing off over here. It's like, <sighs> okay, this is like showing the loyalty, the responsibility. I mean, they might even self-sacrifice something to be with you. Whoa. Okay, guys, what's going on over here, Aqua Pisces? It's getting deep now. The bottom of the deck, though, you guys, is truth. Now, you got to love that, right? And I love this because it says truth, no more waiting with the patient, but you have to wait for the fulfillment of wishes in some ways because it does feel like the fulfillment of wishes is not 100% turned up and it's that way you're standing your ground, waiting for the triumph and yeah, so you're going to, can't go that far though, you guys, you have to wait, right? Like, whoa, 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 gold wallflower, you're going too far in the future. I know, couldn't help myself. I know, I just... Phew. And as you know, it doesn't always, it might not 100% happen, right? So but that's what it's kind of saying. If you stay on this path, you're going to get that fulfillment of wishes right side up, right? Oh my gosh. But right now it's kind of like, no, it's going to take a while for that to happen. Movement choices and decisions. Ooh, somebody feels like they were being stingy. Oh, you felt like somebody was being stingy or you were being stingy with your heart. I don't know why I said heart. Maybe it's because the passion's ignited. Where are you holding back? Where are they holding back? Somebody was being stingy at the heart. I heard it. I'm going with it. Okay? Yeah, 
that there was no movement forward with this. It was like, oh my gosh, somebody was waiting for this movement. Could have been you, but you could be dealing. No, it's it's you. You weren't moving forward. That's you, unless you're dealing with a uh, another air sign. Why weren't you going forward? It's the next card. Because you were thinking about doing other things. Something in the past that had you doing something other things. You were like, I'm not going to move toward you. I'm kind of being stingy over here. Um, I'm not moving toward you because I've got other things going on. I've got other options. I've got other things. Oh my gosh, were you guys, were you in another relationship? Is that why you couldn't? Were they in another relationship? I keep hearing this. Why do I keep hearing this? Or you just literally had other things going on. Maybe a career, this, that. Okay, take it how it resonates. It wasn't justified at the time. Memories of love. Why is the memories of love here? I'll find the memories of love for us, please, spirit. It wasn't justified and it wasn't balanced. And I think it was because nobody had a divorce. Oh my gosh, with somebody in the middle of saying that there was no separation. They were so married. Why do I keep hearing this? They had somebody else, huh, guys? The majority of you. Or you did. Could be dealing with a Libra. If this is them and they're the Libra coming, rushing in, and this is a Libra card, you couldn't go rushing at them and they couldn't come rushing at you because they were married, huh? Or had another person. Maybe they weren't even married. Maybe they just had a boyfriend or girlfriend. They were committed somehow or another to an, in a relationship, we'll just say. I don't know, because I keep seeing this ring up here, too. I know you guys probably can't see it, but in this, there's this ring that keeps... I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to show you. Anyways, there's just two rings, maybe if I move my finger, right? These two rings keep popping up, and it looks just like this. So I keep thinking, there's some kind of relationship going on, but this is someone... I think they popped up from the past, but they couldn't do anything with you because they were either married for a lot of you and then for others of you, you were stingily kind of holding your heart because maybe you just got out of, the, of a divorce or a bad relationship. Uh, yeah, however it is, something like that is what it feels like. So you got the memories of love over here and it's once again, if this is someone from your past, memories of love of an ex and this ex does not mean an ex-boyfriend Girlfriend, it could be just literally a friend who came back. Someone you've known since maybe childhood, high school, college, um, maybe an old job. However, but it's someone that you couldn't, you, I think you ran into this person and you just could not get them out of your mind. And the reason I say that is because, ah, seven of cups, confusion. It was almost like I ran into them and I'm confused. I don't understand why I ran into this person. It caused a lot of confusion. Probably even a lot of, um, yeah, cups, so emotional confusion, mental confusion. Uh, maybe you didn't want to run into this person because you knew you already had these feelings for this person in the past. Um, even if you've never dated or never did anything like that, but you've always had the tendency to like them, right? So, yeah, and I think that running back into them brought back all these, these memories. Yeah. I mean, for others of you, it could have been somebody that you had dated. But for a lot of you, I feel like it was just somebody you had a crush on or something like that. You know, childhood crush, something like this. Three of Wands. Confusion. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Three of Wands, you're delegating and strategizing. It's almost like you're waiting for them in the past to like get past these people or this person, this whatever it is, and you're waiting for your ships to come in. It's almost like you're wanting them to come back to you. You're waiting. I just, I don't know, I just feel like I'm waiting for them to say something, to make my heart my passions ignite. I want this. 
I want this so bad. But it does feel like they really kind of made an upset within you because you were the confusion. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, guys. So you have the harmony over here. Hmm. This message came in. I'm telling you, they messaged you. It was from them. You didn't send this um, for the majority of you. I do not believe you sent this. I think for a lot of you, they wrote you. It was a message that was slow incoming. It could have been a text like this, like, hello, how are you? And then you wrote back and you were like, doing fine, thank you. And then they didn't write back for a few days and that's why it felt slow coming back to you. And they were like, I miss you. And you were like, what? Passion's ignited, you do what? I think about you a lot. I've always had a crush on you. What? Yeah, something crazy, right? Something that blew. Because I'm telling you, when I seen it, I was like, mind blowing. You just blew my heart up. You told me exactly what I was waiting for since the past. Yeah. Harmony. King of Cups, man, that puts you, yeah, it looks at your heart. You're like, um, yeah, I'm the King of Cups. That's me. I'm Pisces. Yep, taking on that Pisces energy. You're just like, whoa, here I go with the love. Boom. Cross watchers, if this is you, I think this Pisces wrote you, and you're just like flabbergasted because all this love from a, him taking on that Pisces, just romance and blew your mind. For you, Aqua Pisces, I just say, you know what? This even could have come from a, from another Pisces, another Cancer, another Scorpio, and it just, it was that, however it was, it put you on cloud nine, and I'm telling you, it was where you needed to be. It was something remarkable. Three of Cups, it made you feel like you have success, like I won. <laughs> And look, look at them. They're recognizing me the way I always wanted them to recognize me before in the past. Oh my God, I can't believe, you know, Taurus, Lib Libra, Cancer, whoever this is, right? I cannot, this person from the past, I cannot believe that they just put me on this pedestal over here and made me look like the queen or the king that I am. But even though I never might have felt that way, they made me feel like I was, like I am so loved and adored. Ten of Pentacles. It was, yeah. To your satisfaction. Satisfaction guaranteed. That's for sure. It puts you on this new destined path. It makes you feel like you're on this new path, like great cycles are coming. Even if it ain't 100% a new pedestrian path, it sure does make you feel like your cycles have changed, um, at least in the Passions Ignited area, because maybe you hadn't had anybody talk to you like this in a long time. So you're like, whoa, my cycles changed. They came in and they just like rocked my world, right? Because it felt like you hadn't had communication like this, I think, in a long time with Page of Swords upside down. Nobody's really said anything like this to you before. You know, if, if this person isn't a water sign, they could definitely have water in their chart. I just feel like it was so passionate, so compassionate. It might even be a fire sign coming in with so much passion. I literally, yeah, whatever was said, almost made you feel childlike again with the sun over here it brought you back to youth you felt youthful it felt like you were younger it made you feel like you were kids again younger adults something like this it was the way it was said it was the way it made you feel it was something that was radiant that just never you just never could believe what happened to you or that they 
believe that would come out of this person's mouth or, or over a text, however it doesn't matter, it's still their mouth, whether it's coming from their fingers or not. I just think with the sun, it's just, I can't believe you said that. And it gave you this youthful feeling. Yeah. Two of Cups, it made you feel like it was somebody that you can actually trust and somebody that you can actually talk to, somebody who actually showing you love that you, yeah. And it's almost to the point where it's like, even if you guys can't be together, because maybe they still have this person over here, it was almost like they're telling you. And you'll have to tell me, you guys, but... Why do I have a feeling they're telling you something about the past? Like, I've always had a crush on you. I've always thought you were the cat's meow. I've always, yeah. And it just, bam. Right? Like, I can't believe that you're saying, I never would have known that. I've always felt, and then it's almost like that kind of thing where it's like, I've always felt that too. And, you know, for some of you, it feels like you had a huge crush on this person, but maybe the love that they're radiating out to you was like, I always thought that, you know, we should be together type thing. And maybe you've never even 100% really seen it that way, but they're telling you something that's just blowing you away. Yeah, and it's all about love. And you know what, you guys? You guys are soulmates for a lot of you. The lover's coming up could be a soulmate connection that you guys didn't even know and maybe that's why they have to come back because you guys are soulmates so it was this is almost feels uh with, with now the lovers coming up on top of the two of cups for soulmate it's almost like a soulmate reunion it's almost like it has to be this way and then it's coming up on top of the sun so it's like soulmate Stand your ground. All of a sudden, now all of a sudden, you're standing your ground. Why are you standing your ground? And it is the same exact card. You're standing your ground for your heart. Why are you standing your ground for your heart? You're blocking your heart. You're saying, um, I gotta hold down the four or the ace of cups. Remember that fulfillment of wishes that was upside down, and I said that's gonna take a long time. You're standing your ground against the fulfillment of wishes of the Ace of Cups with this person because of the devil, some kind of toxic energy that's going off of this person, even though they have your passions ignited. Is it that we have to say, though, because you know they're still married? Is it because you know that they're legally separated or they still have this other person in the background somehow? Do they have some kind of toxic toxicity, excuse me, that's running with this person? Maybe they're alcoholics and with the three of cups, you don't want to be in a third party situation. That's what's going on. Yeah. And you're standing your ground because you're saying, I, I can't. Either that or they drink a lot and you don't want to be drinking. Right? Maybe you know they drink and I don't want someone that drinks. You have a drinking habit, problem. That's not what I'm into. There's too many cups over here, so I'm thinking maybe they do drink. And you know it and maybe you just don't want that. But I do feel that they still have this other person over here and you're really standing your ground against it. Okay, because it feels like you don't want to get caught in a third party situation. Yeah, it feels like you, for some of you, you might even be, um, and this is for a very small amount of you, you might have already healed from being an alcoholic once before. Um, maybe you've already done the party life and that's done and over with. We have all been there, right, when we were young. Um, not everybody, but you know, maybe your drinking days are over and they're still doing things that you've already healed from. You stopped already doing those things. So you feel, you know what I mean? Like they're still doing things that you no longer take, um, you don't do any of those things. Right? You don't take part in any of that um, behavior. Um, for others of you, it does feel though, like you are kind of waiting for the perfect timing though. In some way, if it's just third-party situation, um, like you're saying, you know, um, I'm already kind of healed from you. I don't want to be a part of this third-party situation because if, if you continue, it's going to end up that way, and I don't want any part of this, right? I'm not partaking in any of this. Um, and it almost feels in some way, it's like if you are legally separated, I'll wait for you to get the divorce or for you to drop that girlfriend. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe 
with clarity over here. Maybe there will be a perfect timing for us to be together, um, but I'll be waiting until then. But that doesn't mean your passion's ignited. It still isn't going on because even in the near future, you're probably like, oh, remember those things he said to me <laughs> or she said to me? Whoa. So it almost feels like you're like, well, if it's meant, if, if that's what it is. If it's meant to be, then the perfect timing will come for the, our victory together if it's meant to be. And that's really what it kind of feels like you're saying in the near future over here. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a third party for a lot of you, and you know it. And that's why you don't want to have anything in there. So they could be dealing with a Sagittarius that you just don't want to have any, any issues with. Okay, And it hurts you. It hurts you in a lot of ways. Because you do have your passions ignited for this person because this was a person that you loved forever or however. Take it how it is. Um, and I believe it hurts them as well because, you know, you guys, it feels to me like they know deep down inside they should be with you with King of Swords. They're saying, I have this heart and this pain and not, you know, and I know I should be with Aqua Pisces. They feel that this is where their heart is and this is who they've been thinking about all these years. And so for them to come back is almost a pain for them as well. You guys, I don't know, Facebook, something, something happened. And I don't think that either of you knew that you were 100% going to run into each other. This is really weird. Yeah, but five of swords, if you continue to do this, then somebody's going to end up wearing a mask because it's going to end up a third party situation. So you guys got to get out of this because um, you can't have triumph with deceit, right? King of wands. Somebody's dealing with fire sign. Somebody has a Sagittarius as deceit and would be wearing a false math, mask to this, um, we're going to say Sagittarius, and that would be their person. So they know that they have to get out of this. They would have to get out of this first if that's what they really wanted um, for you to do anything with them. Yeah. Yeah, you're just focused on your money. You're not even focusing on them right now. You're like, I'm focused on being Knight of Pentacles. I'm I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. You deal with whatever you need to deal with. Um, thanks for the passions ignited. You blew my mind. Um, but you're obviously married or something's going on over here. You're too committed. Um, so I'm just focused on my money and I'm, I'm good. I travel a lot. I do my money. I do myself. And I'm not, and that's really what you're saying. I'm not, I'm not getting involved. Yeah. That's really what it is. Yeah. I see that too. Because, yeah. But man, did they blow your mind. And it's almost like you're saying, you know what? I'll just be patient. And, you know, if anything, the wind blows towards my direction once you, you know, turn that wind the other way and get rid of that other person, my, you know, passion could be ignited again. So, but yeah, they really blew your mind. Or you blew their mind. Take it how it resonates. Or did you blow their mind, Aqua Pisces? I only hear these men over here being like, you should have seen this message I wrote her. I blew her mind. <laughs> so, yeah. That's hilarious. You're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Abundance coming out. Yeah, you're just worried about your abundance and your success, your prosperities and your su your success. But the problem is, is now you're going to need a little recovery. And we did see that over here with the temperance, right? You're going to need a little recovery from this passion's ignited. It's like, thanks for blowing my mind and igniting my heart, but I'm going to need a little downtime from that. And, you know, it almost feels like no one's ever talked to you like that. But you're going to have to let them go. And that's the sad thing. You know that. That's where the recovery is coming from is knowing, oh, you did all this and then you tell me you're married? Oh. And when my passion's ignited and they're blowing up like a bomb, like, thanks, that's all I needed. Come on, ladies, you know this? Even the men would tell you, it's like, yeah, and then she told me she was married. It's like, oh my God, come on. I know, I know. Let's see what they say about you. I'm really interested over here. Let's do a three-card spread because I know you guys are involved in three third-party situation over here. Kind of, sort of, not really, but kind of, right? So it's really, okay, here we go. So it's getting to know each other. Yeah, that's what's going on right now, right? Passion's ignited. They're telling me crazy things. Okay, so let's see what they have to say. 
They are keeping an open mind. Be careful of that, you guys, because they're making an effort, and you know they are, too. Be careful. But it also says they have children. Either you have children, they have children, or the, everybody has children. Okay? What does their... Wait. What does their person say about them? Who's this person involved? Who is this? Let they believe that this person that you're involved with. It's not, it's not even really true like that, though, right? I mean, it could be, couldn't be. Okay, this person that comes back that writes the message, right? Okay, just give everybody names over here. This is we're gonna call them. What do we call them? Taurus? Okay, so Taurus. We said their their person was Sagittarius. So Sagittarius over here says that Taurus needs to let go of control issues. He or she is too controlling. But they do see him as their true love. And they are codependent on your Taurus. And is that because they have children? And let's pick out one more card for you since everybody got three. Let's pick everybody three but you. For some of you, you do believe that this is a soulmate or a twin flame. Well, past life relationship going straight towards, t this is more like twin flame relationship. Um, some of you do believe that that could be a twin flame for you. Maybe you marry each other too much. Huh, interesting. And yeah, passion, but we already see that because of the passion ignited. There you go. This kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah, this does kind of suck. Um, yeah, this one's a hard one. Um, because their person believes that they, they're their true love, but they're very codependent on Taurus. Taurus says they want to keep an open mind about you and make the effort towards you, but they have children with Sagittarius. You're saying, this is like my soulmate, I know it, twin flame. Um, we're trying to get to know each other a little bit more, and I do have that passions ignited. But there's one thing I do want to see that I want to know is how does Taurus feel about Sagittarius? Even though we know those are probably not the real energies they're taking, right? There's, they think, oh my, wow. Okay, this is almost getting Jerry Springer over here, you guys. Okay, so everybody stay calm. It, this video is very, very long. They think that Sagittarius is deceiving them. Wow. Okay. They think the Sagittarius is deceiving them. And they wish that their friends would help them. What? Separate from them. He's, okay, so Taurus is actually hoping, thinks the Sagittarius is deceptive, wants Sagittarius's friends to help them to separate from him or her. So he's actually hoping they don't get along. That's plain and simple. That's it, you guys. They don't get along. He, there, he's actually, he or she, but your twin flame person over here, wants, wants their person to separate from them. It feels like they don't get along. So it's actually, they're waiting for them to make the big move. So it looks like they're not going to move because of children, perhaps, not for everybody. But they're not going to make the effort to do anything with them. You're hoping that Sagittarius just says goodbye. But they see them as very deceptive for whatever reason. So, Okay, guys, that was the longest video on planet. So we will leave it at that. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.